So we have found a new giant cypress tree. This one is absolutely huge. We've got a giant buttress, but the trunk as well is really massive. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on this. And we'll see exactly how big it is, but this one certainly could be a new South Carolina champion. stuck in the mud. <laughs> curious to see if it's going to be hollow on the other side. Sounds like it is hollow. Yeah. So the cool thing about these trees, the fact that they do become hollow, that's the adaptation that allows them to live so long. Because essentially it cuts their mass in half. Um, so they keep the rigidity of, of like a straw. Oh. So they've got that circular rigidity, but they lose the interior mass. And so it's a lot less weight. Right. Um, and then they have the, the platform of knees that spread way, way out. So they've got a broad platform, uh, less mass in the center, the rigidity of the straw like structure. And so a lot of times the top will break off but that's part of the adaptation. The top will break off, but the tree just keeps growing and will last a lot longer that way. Uh, I've found a couple of solid trees that haven't broken. This tree is probably 60 feet tall. So, cool? so imagine twice as tall. Um, that's what this whole canopy, if you, we could go back 400 years ago, the entire canopy would have probably been twice as tall as it, as it is now and it would have been stages like the rainforest. So there would have been an upper canopy mm -hmm. and then there would have been this lower level canopy of these trees. And yeah, just a completely different environment. So now on the back side there, is that another tree branching out? Or is that part of this tree? It's the same tree. At same some tree. point this tree probably had an issue or split and then kept growing and then they've merged up top again. This thing is huge. Branches are enormous. Yeah, so this is an amazing cypress tree that we found out here. It is absolutely monstrous. 28 feet 6 inches at breast height level. Buttress measurement. And I would guess that the trunk is probably around 22, 23 feet in circumference. But that thing, one of the biggest trees out here, definitely a new champion of Black River.